Hi everyone. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for you. It's Lonnie and I want to do some playing with my jelly plate today. And I want to try a couple of different fabrics. Well, one fabric and some different papers because I'm running out and I need some more. I've got a start of a color here just because I was trying to open some bottles so I wouldn't be having to do that on film. And I want to use this book page as a cleaning, cleaning thing. So I am a little tight on space here. So bear with me and pardon the dirty fingers already. Hopefully I will be able to make something pretty here today. That's already pretty dry. That's okay, I'm gonna spread it out and then I won't have to wait for it to dry. I was watching Darcy at um, Darcy's Misadventures in Mixed Media. I always have to think when I say her name. Anyways, she was, um, she's fast. She's obviously been doing this for a long time. But um, I was watching her and she lets her first coat kind of dry. And then she puts other stuff on. So I kind of had this uh, theme in mind that I wanted to do. And it's a sea, like a aqua type something or other. And I have not been playing very much, so I am totally out of practice. But I noticed um, Darcy put her colors on from the side, not from the middle like I used to do. And I was wondering why she would get these, um, or why she, why I would get the, what do you call it, the oval shapes from doing the paints. And that's why, because I started in the middle. I actually don't think you're supposed to put a whole bunch on at once. I can't remember. It's been too long. Okay, so shall I go with the fabric first? Maybe I will. Oh, let me turn this light on, see if that helps us. It might, or it might not. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a strip down and see what happens. some that might be good I I don't want to go overboard because this will probably be like a background piece for some fabric clusters or something like that so I won't I won't take it all like I won't I'm gonna try not to overdo it I guess is what I'm thinking I haven't seen anybody do this with fabric yet, so I'm either way ahead of my time or way behind. <laughs> Could be either one. I don't I don't think this is new. I mean I've seen people um 
I know people paint fabric. I just don't know if they use the jelly plate to do it, so. All right, so that's kind of, if I want any more, I'm gonna have to try to rub it off, I guess. That would work too. Well, I kind of like that. I mean, it's, if you're looking for a certain color of fabric, then I guess this would work because you could put whatever colors you want down on the plate. And to, it kind of looks like it's been roughed up some. And isn't that what we are always looking for? So yeah, I think I like that. I'm just gonna hang that over here to dry. Okay, so then I want to move on to some book page. the same colors so how are you doing today hope you are well I noticed frost on everything this morning again I think our wonderful fall weather is coming to an end here but maybe not maybe it'll hang on a little longer that would be nice now I did that one on purpose hoping it would kind of make a design I don't have a lot in the way of stencils, so. I think I want some blue. Blue or green? I think maybe green. Hmm, maybe both, I don't know. I was looking for like some kind of a light blue. I may have used it all, so. Oops. It really does help if you put the cap on the right way. got a bunch of really I guess they're cheap but you know nothing's cheap anymore even the cheap stuff isn't cheap but I got these on sale Fanta Story on Amazon the box of them was on sale it was a large box so now I got a whole bunch of colors which I didn't have and I kind of needed if I was gonna play around with this so all right so there's that okay here goes what's gonna happen how dark do I want this oh that's nice that looks like kind of like um, leaves there I think my favorite part about doing the jelly plate is the spaces that don't get paint on them. Like in the middle here, it leaves this really cool pattern. So 
I'm gonna just try and do the parts that I missed. Because I wanted to use the specific size of paper because you've seen me paint or watercolor paint on um, book page and maybe you saw how nicely that went into the paper without going through to the other side. Well, I was thinking that I wanted to try acrylics and see if they would do the same thing. So I do really like that, except I think I do want a little more blue on there. But yeah, I was right out. I need um, more papers for background and pockets and, I don't know, tags and everything. So I just figured I would bring you along. Okay, so it doesn't have to be very... Um, a heavy coat on the paper, just some color is what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, just some interest to liven things up. And let's see what else. I can maybe try some more of this green. Did I even put some on? I think I did, didn't I? Can't remember now. I did. Maybe I want a different green. Hmm. Maybe I want some gold. I love the colors of turquoise and gold together. And I feel like I'm coming up with some turquoise here. Not so much the sea color that I was going for. I really like the size of this book page. It, um, it's been very useful. A lot of times I will use a book and it'll be too small. But there we go. Too. If you do the edges kind of by themselves, you get some interesting lines and patterns. People sometimes ask me if they need this. I am quite capable of saying, no, I don't think you need it. But if you were to get it, I don't think you'd regret it. <laughs> and I didn't mean to rhyme there. It's just... There's a lot of fun to be had, if that's what you're looking for. So. But I do know that there are some people who make pages with this stuff and then sell those, like in digital form, so then you could print them off, purchase them and print them off. So there are other ways to get this look. Okay, I'm going to leave that. It's, it's okay to leave a little bit of whatever the background is there. 
And then I think I'm going to move to my, what I'm hoping will be like a peacock theme. The idea is not to mix them so much that they all become one color, so that's what I'm trying to do here, just kind of combine them, not really mix them too much. Didn't do very dark. And still not. The green didn't really come up. Okay, I think I need a little something else on there yet. Maybe this color. darker than I wanted but it's okay for a play don't want them all the same either so there's plenty of opportunity to do something else here yet it's actually kind of hard to get the paint on right because the way it comes out. And I've heard a lot of people say that sometimes their favorite piece or paper is the, the sheet that they use to clean off the things. So like this, what you would say is the um, the piece that catches all the the yucky stuff. And you know, I already know I'm not going to like all that green either. Well, that's blue. <laughs> all right. Some people use the brayer. Okay, see I'm glad I put the blue on because it would have been too green for me. That's nice. So if I find that this video is getting too tedious, I'm just gonna um, probably fast forward a lot of it and just um, show you the pages. Okay, so I'm still wanting this and this. I don't know. People might say don't do that so many colors at once, but here I go.
Yeah, I like that with the gold. I actually don't mind the stripes. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to get another sheet. Yeah, see, it depends on what color mood you're in at the time. I'm really liking the, the purple and the greens. And I think I am ready to add some yellow. I feel like this is going slow and yet I'm going through a lot of paper. Okay. Kind of wanted to dirty up the yellow there a little bit. I got some yellow. Let's see what else. Um, how about some blue, dark blue? This reminds me of my high school colors blue and gold. Except <laughs> the gold back then was more of a yellow, so yeah, it wasn't that pretty. This is actually nicer. Two, my jelly plate is a eight by 10. Oh. I do like that. The gold and the blue kind of mixed a little bit, or is that from the background? Anyways, it kind of looks like a mix of green and brown, which is really pretty. Okay, let's do that one again. See where it's kind of blotched? That's where it's picking up. Try the see if there's any left in the lighter blue here. I kind of picked up there, so. I don't mind. You need to get more interesting looks, that's all. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna finish by, I'm gonna finish the book page by cleaning that one off. And then I'm gonna move to my, um, Scrap 11, eight, eight, eight and a half by 11 scraps because um, I also want to do some full size journal pages. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that cleaned the plate pretty good. So I got a lot of leftover colors on there, which I totally don't mind, so. Okay, so then, paper here. I was going to make a tag out of it. I kind of like it when the paint gets stuck on the jelly plate initially and then it comes off when you kind of smush the paper down. So there's all sorts of fun to be had with these. Even if you don't know what you're doing. I feel like there's, there's more on there that I want to lift up. But it could be just too dry already. I can maybe add something to that and then we can start building again or this yellow that I just put on could just wet the background enough to help lift it up somewhere Not really. But it did add some vibrance to it. There, now I got some more off. What about the other side? go. That's what I'm talking about. Got some more. Okay. I think I could use a little bit of more something else on there yet. Um, maybe this. Yeah, I like that. That's a good combination. A little bit dark here in spots, but I'm okay with that. We've got some yellow showing through, which now looks like light green. But that's okay. This will make a nice grungy background for a tag. And again, drying it. All right. What's next? I feel like I'm always reaching for the gold. Probably because I am. Gold, or sorry, purple, green. I 
I know, I did this already. Why am I doing more? I don't know. Okay, I'm try and get this empty. This was like a sample thing. I bought a case of these tiny little ones at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. I don't know which one it was. Dollarama or Dollar Tree. And uh, just enough to try and see if I liked what I was getting into and so I would say it was successful and that it whetted my appetite yeah if I had to do it again I might wait and splurge on a jelly plate that was the 12 by 12 so that I could do my full-size journal pages just because it's not really um, covering the whole and I always have this border so even if I do it afterwards it's still you know it's, it needs to be done so I'm going to just try and put it on, well, I got one side of it, I guess. Yikes. That green is very bright. So whenever I find something is too bright, like I have this big blob of yellow, not yellow, um, blue. And then I have this big blob of green. So then I just kind of try to put it down again and lift it off somewhere else, if that makes sense. And I can probably do that with the borders as well that will kind of blend them in better, I think. But see, these are the papers that I get from work that I don't want to throw out. We get 25 sheets every week. So that's 100 pages a month that I can use up this way. So... Okay, so that's not my favorite. What I might do is um, add another color. Uh-oh. Paper stuck on my brayer because the paint was wet. Oh well, added pattern, I guess. All right, let's try this again. Not everywhere, just a little dab. little murkier but it knocked it back it, it knocked it all back a little bit so I like that it'll it'll be pretty when I go to use it okay what other colors would look good here I like this Maybe if I do it, that's a very good idea. Because for a journal page, this would be half of it right there. So if I do half, like one half of the side for one page. Oh yeah. 
Oh, that's nice. I can still see some stuff there, so I'm going to try and get that lighting off. There we go. Just needed a little thicker coating. And two, I was thinking of making some more envelopes. and lining them with paper. And this would be good for that too. So yeah, I can't read the original. I can see some stuff back there, but no private information, so that's good. All right, so that was that half. Then I have to see what I can do for the second half. So yeah, some of the paper. <laughs> I even have some of the writing that left its imprint on there from this sheet. So that's kind of cool because that will probably come up next time. So let's see. Um, I think I want a little bit of white. This one is quick drying, which I didn't know. Um, apple barrel seems to be quick drying. Okay, and then try a different blue. That's probably darker, that's okay. And then I want some yellow because yellow and blue makes green. And I want a little bit, a little bit of purple. And I want some more gold. Yeah, that's too much gold, but that's right at the end. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, that's actually not bad. One of my favorite things about this is when it's dry and it you see the where the wet stuff is, um, it'll add texture to the paper later. <laughs> that, that doesn't look like it should go together, but I do really like that. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I've noticed and that this is going to be good for me in the long run. I was lamenting about not having a bigger jelly plate, but if I do the page in half this way, it will work out perfectly for my journals because that's exactly half a page. So, yay. Then I'm not stuck, and then I can keep going. See, fold that page in half and then I get a whole side here. I probably will line that with a piece of um, craft colored something or other. Oh, that's nice. That looks almost like a map kind of. I think I'm going to fold it and then I can get more over here. Like so. Oh, 
I can still see some of the writing, or rather the indication of writing. Nice. Alright, so then this side. I didn't think I'd have enough for both. But let's see. I like that too. It's so hard to go wrong with this, really. I mean, here's me who doesn't know what she's doing. And just putting color down. And getting really nice and dirty in the process. Okay. I'm so happy that actually works. <laughs> and I can just keep going. Okay, so lots of gold on there, which I don't mind. And I was just looking at my fabric over here, and it seems to be saying something to me about missing out on all the fun. So, all right, come on back. I know you want some gold too. Yeah, I had a little bit extra gold on there, kicking around still. And I thought gold fabric would be nice. Not that you can see too much of it, but it does show up in some places. So. Yeah. I'm just having ideas now about maybe cleaning this up on here. Had some gold on there yet. And too, I had this crazy idea of stenciling fabric with this. So. Oh look, the other side's getting in on it too. So. Yep, lots of fun. Okay, that's good for the fabric, I think. We're just gonna keep going for a little bit longer. Um, maybe I should get out like a A brown. I like the combination of brown and green together. And again, I want to use up some of my... Okay, that's kind of a light brown. Yeah, okay, don't use light brown. Not the fan. <laughs> it almost looks more orangey than... All right, I'm gonna have to get another brown because this is just brown. Oh yeah, that's better. And maybe some, do I need a light green? Okay, I was thinking black yet, but that might be too much. We shall see. Oh, 
that's not bad. I'm gonna try to see what I got left on the other side here. Not as dark. That's okay, I can pick up the sides here. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Even the, the light brown comes in at more of an orange, which isn't bad. So, since it's all the same color, I can play around a bit more now. I do the side with writing on it first because there is some, not much, but a little personal information that would be nice if it was covered, so. Yeah, there's that. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. I just love it when it sticks to the plate. Okay. Want some more from up top there. And on the side. If this doesn't really work, I don't have to use it because it's already, it already would have been garbage anyways. But at the same time, I've learned to really um, enjoy using this as like a background for something else. Like I can make, like this piece here is pretty much falling apart, but um, like it's got from the brayer resting on it, it's pulled up some of the paper. But still, I can use a lot of this. So, it's not gonna be wasted. And the stuff that I do have that I can use, I like. And too, I could always go and maybe tear it in half and then use this as a uh, front side, back side. I don't know, it'll, it'll work out. Um, let's just pull out all the papers we did do. First of all, we had the fabric. And then we have all these. There's that tag again. I think my favorites were all the book pages. And maybe not the very bright ones. Uh oh. I thought they would pull. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, so not the very bright ones maybe, but some of the darker ones. And yeah, they didn't wreck or anything when I, I had very little room here to dry stuff, so I'm happy that Everything seems to have played nicely together. So yeah, we did quite a few. So I hope that qualifies as artsy paper. That one, that one, 
and that one. So this one is the lettuce one and it'll be fine. So, all right, so <laughs> look at that. That's the pattern from that wet one. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm just going to bring that fabric back in so you can see. That was fun. I really did enjoy that. And I think I'm going to really enjoy using this too. And I might even do some more because, I mean, why not? So, yeah. Thanks for joining me today and uh, hope you had fun or at least some ideas or some inspiration. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.